Well, I've gone through my um, seashells. Um, I like to do the white ones because they're easier to paint. And you want to make sure when you choose two, they're not identical, that they're symmetrical. I've got my cutting board here, which you're going to need to put a hole into your pendant as well as your earring. Now here's my handy set of tools. And what I'm going to be using to do that is I'm going to use the bead reamer. One of my tools here to hammer with because you don't want to... One thing about seashells is they are very fragile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bead reamer, you notice I'm putting it right here in the center, and I'm just going to slightly tap. And you want to tap it to the point where when you turn your bead reamer, you can feel it turning. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take your hole, your bead reamer, you're going to put it into the seashell, and you're going to slightly turn it carefully, because like I said, they are very fragile. And with the bead reamer, as you turn, you're making the hole larger. So as you see now, I have a nice little hole. I don't know if you can see that. Let's move this up to the camera. See the hole? It's a nice little hole right there. And now we're going to repeat this for the earring parts. And there you can see, there's the hole. All right, and we got our newspaper opened up. Now I've chosen my nail polish. You're also going to need some toothpicks. And the purpose for the toothpick is that you can take the toothpick and stick it in like this in the little hole there and then it makes it easier for you to um, paint it. So now I always start by painting the larger of the two, uh, the three shells first. And so what I'm going to do is just like polishing your nail polish, your fingernails. So you're just going to paint it. When you're painting make sure you paint all the way up to the tip right where the hole is going to be. See how nice that is? See how pretty that turned out? So I'm going to do the same thing for the um, the earring. Shells for the earring. And there's one earring. Now if you wanted it to dry really fast for your second coat, you could just blow dry it. And now that they're dry, you could just leave them as they are or you could add a second coat of polish. But in my case, I want to add another coat. Now, when you're polishing them, make sure you get the edges really good. Kind of hold it up and look at it because if you don't get those edges good, it will show up. Now, it's very important to make sure you allow each coat to dry in between the other coats because you don't want to take some of the polish off of one of the previous coats of paint. So now that we're done, we're just going to let them dry. You can let them air dry or you can blow dry them. Now our pendant is dry as well as our earrings. So I'm going to remove the toothpick. Don't need that anymore. And there's the other one. Now we're ready to assemble our jewelry. Earring hooks kind of look like a little fish hook. I'm using some basic jump rings and I'm using a um, 20 gauge beading wire. I'm going to take a piece of the beading wire out. Oh, about yay long. You can make it as long as you want, but I'm just going to do, and I'm assuming this is probably, this looks like it's probably about 8 inches long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the beading wire into the hole, and then I'm going to turn it and bring it up to the top, just like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully, because you don't want to break, you don't want to break the hole, but I'm carefully twisting all the way up the wire. Okay, and as you see now, see how it's all twisted to the top. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your beading tool and you're going to take it and you're going to shape it by turning it down and then you're going to take it and you're going to turn it. And then you're just going to take the bottom half, maneuver it with your hands, but when it gets to a certain point, you're going to have to use your, your um, tools to twist it around. I'm going to take this little, like a flat nose 
tool here and I'm just going to flatten it. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to turn it because you want this to sit this way on the on the neck. So you want your chain, your chain would ride right up in here. Now we're going to do the earring portion of the set. I'm going to use my two little tools here and I'll use one just to hold the jump ring in place and the other one I'm going to use it to twist the jump ring open. As you can see, the jump ring is open. I'm going to take the jump ring I'm going to insert it into the hole of the earring. We're going to put the earring hook on and we're going to close it back and now we have our earring. And we're going to repeat the same thing for the other side or for the other earring. And there you have your two earrings. Aren't these beautiful? And we're done! And as you see, when you're done, you have these beautiful earrings and pendant. And you made them all yourself. And they make a beautiful gift. I made these for all of my friends and of course they love them. So I hope that you try it. Happy crafting!